All right, everybody ready? Runners to the starting lines. No, not yet. Let's give it. Is Roosevelt Middle School in the house? Is Lawton Middle School in the house? Come on in, you guys. Is Rooftop in the house? Do we have the San Francisco Community School in the house? That's me. Yo, who's here? Yeah. All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Keys Art Track Day. My name's Phil Ginsberg. I'm the general manager of San Francisco's Recreation and Park Department, and I have the great pleasure of welcoming you to the reopening of Kizar Track. So there are three dates for you to keep in mind about this amazing facility. 1925, it used to be John McLaren's nursery until it opened here in 1925 and from 1925 until 1989 it hosted all kinds of things it hosted actually it hosted like motocross it hosted uh, obviously football it hosted um, lacrosse auto racing soccer baseball boxing cricket and of course football the san francisco 49ers played here for a number of years the oakland raiders played here for a number of years yep an amazing facility with incredible history. So now let's go to 1989. And in 1989, this becomes the people's track. The, the uh, 49ers are now at Candlestick and now they're even for a little further south. But in 1989, this facility reopens as the people's track and it becomes the home of over 20 middle schools, 10 high schools, amateur runners, uh, competitive runners, high school sports. We still get a, an amazing special event or two. We've had FC Barcelona practice on this field. We've had Stanford uh, play college football. We've had Division I college lacrosse here. And so for the last, uh, let's see, 20, 34 years, it's been uh, the people's track and the people's complex. And now we flash forward to 2015, where after this incredible track that lasted 23 years, finally got a facelift. And I really want to thank, and you're going to hear from them in a second, but I really want to thank our mayor and London Breed, our president of the Board of Supervisors, for their support of this project. This was done through the, uh, the city's capital planning committee um, program, over $3.2 million to renovate this beautiful site. Um, some things about it you might notice, for those of you who are paying attention, it used to be eight lanes. It's now nine lanes. It is a Mondo track. This is as good a track as you will find anywhere in the world. Um, and on top of that, you will see some other beautiful elements to the facelift here at Kizar. Uh, many of you are sitting in, where do those seats come from? Those, candlestick, we brought a little bit of candlestick here. Over a thousand seats from Candlestick are now here at Kizar. New goal posts, uh, our, our field, this is one of our best grass fields anywhere in the city. Um, and it's just, uh, we've got a new perimeter walkways and curbs, new entry walk paving, some, some ADA accessibility improvements. It's just really a terrific project. But because we're talking about sports today, these things don't happen alone. They're a big team effort, and I have lots and lots and lots of, of thank yous. Um, so some special recognition. Uh, obviously, the track and field community, which really, uh, uh, really pushed Let's come up and see how many running metaphors we can come up with here. Uh, they really helped us, uh, forced us to sprint to get this done. Um, I want to thank the, uh, the Kizar uh, Track Advisory Committee, the San Francisco Unified School Districts, uh, all of their athletic teams, numerous school track coaches who all pitched in. Some special recognition to Don Collins, our San Francisco Unified School District Athletic Director, who uh, supported the renovation and helped with this event. Where's Don? Where's he hiding? Don, can't, oh, there he is. Hi, Don. Mark Christensen from the Kizar Stadium Citizens Advisory Committee, who organized student letters of support. Lena Emery, who's now the president of the Kizar Stadium Citizens uh, Advisory Committee. Um, some, some very special thank yous to my own staff. Toksa Jike, who is our capital project manager. 
Steve Castile and his incredible turf team. Um, you all are running around the track today, but what I really want to be doing is playing soccer on that pitch right there. It looks so beautiful. Um, and that includes Mike Roche and Roberto Chavez, who take care of this place every day. Our permits and reservations team, who works tirelessly with uh, San Francisco Unified to ensure that all of you have places to play and compete. And that's Dana Ketchum, Michelle uh, Masiha, Peter Akendo, and Eric Jew. Uh, this doesn't get done without our great friends at the Department of Public Works, Mohamed Nuru, uh, our director, Robert Tigbell, and Albert Coe. I really want to thank uh, Verde Designs, who helps us helped us design this facility, uh, and a lot of our sports and athletic complexes around town. Mark Baginski is here. I don't know if Tony Wood is here, but I really want to thank him. Thank you, Mark. Big, sh big round of applause for Mark. He's awesome. Boffman Construction, Andrew Boffman, John Migdal, Manuel Padilla, Bruce uh, uh, Giron, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Thank you, Boffman Construction, for all the work you did on this. Um, and of course, some special guests who you're going to hear from. Uh, and let me um, start with our fabulous mayor, who is running this city like a world-class marathoner. Ladies and gentlemen, Ed Lee. Well, let me give you the inside track. <laughs> you know, I'm really happy to be here with Supervisor London Breed, Dr. Katie Tang, School Board Member Hydra Mendoza. I know all of us can agree that if you're going to be an elected official in San Francisco, you ought to run here first. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You know, almost two years ago, uh, Activists like Calvin Welch and Mark Christensen visited me and gave me pictures. You remember that day, Calvin? You handed those pictures to me, and you said, you got to get this done, Mayor. Uh, it's only going to cost you a million dollars. That's what they said. So $2.7 million later. <laughs> but we wanted to do it right. And Reckon Park and their contractor said, this is a unique track. And over the decades, it got way out of whack with flooding and with kind of unevenness. We had to get this all right because for these kids, we want to make sure that they grow up with a world-class track because they are world-class students in San Francisco. And you know my appreciation for our middle grade kids. You know, you are our future. I'm going to see you not only grow up, I'm going to feel your leadership come out. We're going to have the best city ever that you ever appreciated so that wherever you go, whether your future is here or elsewhere, you're going to always remember these years when you realize that this city did everything it could to make this city successful for you. If you're low income, you get to ride Muni for free all the way to when you're a senior. And if you're still low income, you're going to ride Muni for free. Uh, if you happen to meet up with disabilities, you're going to ride Muni for free. You're going to have a lot more housing in the next few years. You're going to have a lot more parks and open space. In Woo! fact, we have $15.5 million to spend on six more open space playgrounds in the city that we're looking forward to doing. But these kinds of investments make our city successful for everyone. Parks, tracks and field, playgrounds, they are the great eveners along with transportation and education. The great places where we want kids of all economic backgrounds to grow up healthy and successful, they begin with these types of investments. And so I am so happy to work with the Board of Education, with our Board of Supervisors together to create these opportunities and make sure we make world-class standards our standards in everything that we do. Uh, as these kids grow up and as the parents and as the activists know, this is history making here at Kizar Stadium. And we just continue the very story that Phil already started with us, that this is where a lot of great teams started. And yeah, 49ers and Raiders and gosh, they even did cricket here and rugby. Uh, Phil, all these kinds of wonderful sports started right here at Kizar. We want to continue this storied history uh, even with the seats from Candlestick right in the middle as we reinvent and re-strategize uh, all of our public facilities. Uh, I know I'm not looking like I'm dressed for the 400 meter you know, race today, 
but uh, I'm going to do a little bit of it, promising that I will be out here even more with all of you and also be watching the competition because today we're going to see some great practice sessions going on, but I'm looking forward to national competition here. Uh, you can see this already happening. When this national, if not international, competition happens, all of the competitors will feel like me. You're walking on this and you're like, gosh, how can a public facility have this kind of world-class conditions? It's all because we have a fantastic conversation going on with everybody that this is what kind of facility that we want. And it'll be reflected in everything else that we do in our parks and open spaces, uh, but also in our treatment of our public education. You're going to get students coming out of world-class education standards to complement uh, the exercise and the competition that goes on here. So I'm very glad to be out here. Uh, let the show begin. Let the ribbon cutting begin. Let my 100-yard dash, dash begin. And I know I was going to do that because the ambulance showed up and they're ready for me. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We have a couple, a couple more people that want to say a few words, and then we're going to... Uh, we're not going to cut a ribbon today. We're going to uh, we're going to run through a ribbon. Uh, but next up, just to continue, she's been sprinting since she was first elected to office in January of uh, well November of 12. Started in January of 13, and she said to me, uh, she's been pushing hard for this track. She said, "I don't care what hurdles come your way. You get this done, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen." The president of the board of supervisors, London Breed. So I want to start off with a message to the young people who are going to be behind me, who are going to be racing the mayor. Don't beat them too bad on the track. Let them have a little head start. So we don't want you to lose any races, Mr. Mayor. You like that one? <laughs> anyway, um, this is a great day, and I know folks have worked on this. Um, this is really a labor of love. It's a labor of love for the young people who are here, who are patiently waiting and uh, for us to get out of the way so that they can use this amazing track. I grew up in this city. I've watched Galileo beat so many high school teams in this city, including Lowell. <laughs> some great football games, some great track meets. This place has never looked better, and I am so excited and I am thankful to all of the folks that have been involved in not just pushing the mayor and Phil Ginsburg, but the people who have emailed me, the, the folks from the Kezar Track Advisory Committee, the Haight-Ashbury Neighborhood uh, Council. So many people care so much about making sure we have a world-class facility. Now we have it, let's use it. Thank you. Thank you, London. I also want to just acknowledge probably the fastest elected official who's here today. Uh, she did run track at Lowell High School, Katie Tang from District 4. Um, and before we, uh, before we do our race, I'm going to bring up just a, um, a couple more folks. I'd like Hydra Mendoza, our school board member, to come up to say a few words, and Commissioner uh, Chairman of, uh, Vice Chairman of the Rec and Park Commission, Alan Lowe, and his colleague, Eric McDonald. Come on up, you guys. Um, I just wanted to say a big, big, huge thank you on behalf of San Francisco Unified School District. Our schools don't have tracks like these. Many of our schools don't even have tracks, period. Dawn, thanks so much for all the efforts that you put into making sure that our schools are getting what they need. And so on behalf of the San Francisco Unified School District, Mr. Mayor, President Breed, Mr. Ginsburg, thank you for not staying in your lanes and to blending the school district and all the efforts to make sure our kids have one of the best tracks in San Francisco. Thank you. Park, we, 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 we dress the part, by the way. <laughs> well, you said it was a race. Uh, <laughs> Supervisor Breed, I think this is the only race the mayor's running in. So I think <laughs> y'all got to let him win. If he walks, you got to walk slower. So let, let him win. I just want to, I actually want to recognize two people, Mark Christensen and Coach Ray Ponce, for their 40 years of coaching boys and girls track. <laughs> Coach Ray Ponce was my coach at James Lick Junior High School. And when I used to come up with lame excuses of why I didn't want to run, he told me, Alan, everyone can run, and you're running. 
And this is what this track represents. Everyone can run, whether you're doing time trials, intervals, you're jogging laps, walking laps, or you're a parent or friend helping a challenged athlete, this is for everyone. And thank you, Kizar Citizens Committee. You know, sometimes we don't listen very well, but Calvin, this time I heard you. So thank you very much. Let's go out and run. All right, a couple more thank yous. Um, San, Francisco, uh, uh, San Francisco Police Department Park Station Captain Raj Viswani. Thank you, SFPD, for keeping this area safe. I want to thank our San Francisco Park Rangers as well. And one special celebrity, and he doesn't know he's getting singled out here. He is uh, the San Francisco Recreation and Park Department's uh, uh, greatest track coach and one of the greatest athletes ever to work for Rec and Park, and that's Coach Ken, who's there. A big shout out for Coach Ken, who's been teaching kids track and field for a long time. All right, Mr. Mayor, are you ready? I'm going to ask you, anybody behind here who wants to join, and I think we've got eight students picked from each school, and you're going to run eight times. From San Francisco Community Support here all right here, uh, to join us, and I think we are starting at that end. Oh, <laughs> 